What's good? I am Summer 16. This is the final say where I give you sports commentary and the best bets for the week. We definitely having a good week so far. We want to know. I want to get straight into the next play. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm trying to raise your time. So you can wage your time. Let's get into it, man. We got the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Orlando Magic. It is an away game for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a home game for the Magic. You never really want to bet against the home team too much. But in this case, we're going to look into the facts and see what the best bets are. The Orlando is 20 and 26 against the spread, while the Lakers are 18 and 27 against the spread. Let's see if they have any injured players. What significance they have on the game? Of course, AD is out. Kendrick Nunn is out for the Lakers. On the other side, they got more out. T. Ross might play. Carter Williams might play. Isaac might play. Foles might play. Carter is out, he's probable still. Hampton is out. So, because they're playing the Lakers, a lot of people might play, but it's, I don't believe it's a national TV game, so I'm not expecting them to go all out their way to make sure they play. The Lakers are at 86% of the spread total. That's always a risky thing when you want to bet the Lakers. That means that basically the bank is on Orlando this time because the Lakers have 86% of the spread, the negative five. Even though the number went down a point, a half point, which is kind of confusing because you would think that it would be going up. I do believe there is a high opportunity for the Lakers to cover the spread with 87%. That's always risky. 87% is always risky. With that being said, we're going to have to get straight into the ESPN game facts on the game cast. They have Orlando Magic at a 51% chance of winning. They're even saying that LeBron James may be a day to day, but I believe he's going to play because they need this win. He guaranteed themselves the opportunity to even get into the playoffs. The Lakers have lost four out of the last five with the last with the last win being Utah. Orlando has lost four out of the last five with the last bent win being the Hornets. I do believe both teams want to win. Both teams are going to play hard. Orlando is going to want to win against the former champions in the Lakers with LeBron James. I do believe the Lakers want to win because they're playing awful. And it's disgusting how, the, how they're going out this year. But with that being said, I have a great bet. I have a great opportunity. It's a smooth opportunity. It's a no sweat play. It's a full unit play. Put a whole hundred down. I have the Los Angeles Lakers first half spread negative two and a half. But you can find it for negative one and a half, even better. You buy the extra point for negative one and a half, even better. But I got the Los Angeles Lakers negative two and a half first half. The first half spread. Los Angeles Lakers negative two and a half first half spread. Lock it in. Let me know if you tell me the fade in the comment section. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you see any bets. That you plan on getting into today I feel great about the play I feel great about the opportunity Go crazy in the comment section Like, subscribe, and follow the page We're going to come with these plays Whenever I see a play that makes sense Going with the Lakers, baby First half spread I am Summer 16 Giving you sports commentary and the best bets And that was Final Say